Good afternoon, uh, everyone. So today uh, we'll be discussing about what Kazi codes are. So let's start. And one thing to be noticed that uh, it's just an introduction to Kazi codes. So just an introduction. So like this is the agenda for today. Like we'll be like uh, I mean like this is actually the second part, and I'll be like just discussing where we left and then what are Kazi codes and required dependencies and imports to use them. Then, uh, then we will be discussing two pretty printers that is uh, show, raw, show raw and show code and then we will be discussing what lifting and lifting is and then uh, uh, there would be like, uh, like we will be understanding how these the ASTs which are being generated how are they compiled and executed and then the use cases for it and then would be my references and uh, let us start. So, First of all, that this would be a revisiting to interpolators. As you all remember, it's a mechanism to like put in things uh, in between a processed or unprocessed string literal. Now, uh, and uh, in that we learned that we had three basic interpolators that is S, Raw and F. And now we'll be moving uh, towards uh, what quotations are. And what quotations are, like quotations are uh, something which is based on the concept of uh, string interpolation, but the difference is that uh, it, uh, it it includes like AST manipulation and all the other stuff. So I mean, like, the basic principle stays uh, uh, that that one we had for string interpolators. So now, what are Kazi codes? Uh, as it can be seen that uh, Kazi codes are a neat uh, notation or like a way uh, that. Uh, I mean like AST uh, uh, manipulations and AST creation can, uh, AST tree creation can be conducted. So it's called quotation syntax and it's just another use, uh, usage of extensible string interpolation. So uh, now as I mentioned that they are, they are a neat representation. So how come they are neat and what makes them uh, better uh, for like uh, better that uh, they are uh, like easy way to create a AST. So we'll discuss this uh, with an example. So like it's just an ex uh, uh, a statement or uh, just a string that I am a Kazi code. So we have to just wrap it inside the Q interpolator and uh, we have our, our AST. So uh, like previously if we uh, wanted to uh, like uh, uh, generate a AST uh, with the help of a uh, macro. So we uh, used to have a refi and splice methods in that uh, and like it was a bit complex but now it's just a single line and we have AST for the expression that we want to obtain. So what just happened here? Uh, so the thing is that the code wrapped inside the inside Q is picked up and then AST is formed from it and uh, uh, there is a note that expression yielded by Q is just a tree which is neither compiled nor executed. So now this is a very important statement here and I'll be justifying it. So basically the thing is inside the queue there is an expression or anything which is like grammatically correct according to the grammar of Scala. So now let's justify uh, what I mentioned that it is neither compiled nor executed. So that can be verified using this, this command. So this command basically shows all the phases uh, that uh, compiler or the phases of the compiler that are uh, under undergone uh, while compilation process is taking place. And now, so as you can see, the first phase that is parser. Parser sorts Ryan. into ASTs and performs simple. Ryan, can you please increase the font? Increase the font. Increase the font size. We have to just look at the first phase here. The first phase says that part source into AST. So this is uh, the ac action that is actually taking place. So uh, and uh, and since no bytecode is generated, so we can't say that uh, actual compilation took place. Okay. 
okay uh, yeah so that would be our uh, like justification that no compilation has uh, taken place and the another one uh, would be uh, i'll be like uh, dividing by uh, expression dividing by zero and since uh, all of us know that it is a run, it gives a runtime exception so if i uh, like write this expression and i get a runtime exception that means that execution has taken place okay no now for uh, for to execute this command we should first know what all dependencies and imports we have to include so well i made a project here where my So meanwhile the project is uh, like opening. I'll uh, so this basically is the uh, dependency that uh, we'll be using, and uh, these will be the imports that will facilitate the usage of uh, that will. Okay, now uh, to start the project, since I am in the directory where the project is uh, present, so I'll be just writing sbt console, and I'll be like uh, all my dependencies would be available to me, and then I'll be placing all the import commands here, and I'll be starting with them. Now we can use a quasi code. So the expression that I was interested in was division of zero. So as uh, we can see, no uh, runtime error was uh, like uh, uh, encountered, and instead a tree was being formed, uh, which looks like t and div and zero. So div, as you all know, is entirely a method that take uh, that uh, takes place, and uh, so this justifies that no actual. Uh, Thank you. 